awesome. A lot of times I find this goes for music and movies and other stuff. It seems like God is just putting things in my life at exactly the right time. And like sometimes it's like something I haven't even heard of, you know, finding a book in the store and it just immediately grabs my attention. And I could definitely say that about uh, The Nightland by William Hope Hodgson. I still think about that that book reg- on a, like regularly. And, and I only read the second half of it. That's the thing. It was a second <laughs> volume of this two volume edition put out by, um, uh, what was it? Valentine? Valentine, yeah. yeah. And uh, they're like adult fantasy line. And it was, yeah, gosh, it, like it's written in this almost 18th century style of vernacular, which is, it's very polarizing in that regard, but you get through that and you really are placed in another time, another like world. And the story is millions of years into the future and like earth is shrouded in, in darkness, but also in like dark evil magic or something like it's just really bizarre forces, like kind of incomprehensible things have taken hold on the earth and mankind is sequestered in these like giant pyramids that are just like mountain sized uh called like the redoubts the protagonist goes out into this night land you know it's like a hieronymus bosch maybe like kind of landscape because there's like fire pits here mm-hmm. and there and I think there's like some blue fire as well. There's some, there's strange, there's like watchers, these enormous things that sit um, and maybe like move slowly over thousands of years. Ages ago, some people wrote about like these things moving a bit, or there's like the house of silence, which is this house, this structure that's just lit from the inside, but no sound ever comes from it. And it's, you know, thousands of eons, like old, it's unbelievable and i never knew like like i wanted something like that i think on the back of the book hp lovecraft quotes saying like you know once reading it you'll never forget it and it's true but like this guy goes out because he has had like a vision or dream of somebody in peril and it's a a girl who's like basically the last survivor of this other redoubt that was overrun by these beasts these brutes kind of just like i don't know what you'd call them and he goes across the nightland to save her and then it's kind of like the, a journey back and yeah i remember reading stuff towards the end well i was like i was on the patco coming back from philly i was becoming very emotional at wow. this climax just mm-hmm. because of what was going on and the the stakes involved and just yeah, it, it was fantastic. I can't recommend that one enough. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if you get past the style that it's written in, and I, I do recommend finding the uh, the Valentine edition. I can't say for what the newer printing is like, because mm-hmm. I know in the Valentine one, they did actually tend to tone down the severity of the vernacular. So that, that William Hope Hodgson, like I read a couple of other, other stories that he did. He's written a lot of like nautical, mm-hmm. weird f- horror stories. Yeah, there's a bunch of them set in uh, in a, a Sargasso mm-hmm. uh, type environment, you know, sometimes with living seaweed and things. Yeah, uh, yeah. cool stuff.